Hi guys, this is Simstock and today we are looking at osmosis. Now before we start, if you haven't already watched my diffusion video, you don't know anything about diffusion, I'd highly recommend you watch that before this because they are very similar. However, osmosis is the movement of water across a partially permeable membrane from a region of high concentration to low concentration. Now that is again across the concentration gradient from a high to a low concentration. Now a partially, a partially permeable membrane means that smaller molecules like water can pass through yet larger ones are too big. So it only allows small molecules to pass through. Now the water molecules can then pass through both ways in osmosis. And because there are more molecules on one side than the other, there is a steady flow of water. And this is again because it's going from a high concentration to a low concentration. Now, they could dilute something such as a sucrose solution, for example. And that is where um, d d um, osmosis can be used. Now, um, on, if we take this to real life situations, in our cells, we are surrounded by tissue fluid. And this is just water with oxygen and glucose and stuff dissolved in it. Now, because we, seeing as the tissue fluid will have a different concentration to the fluid, it will either move into the cell from the tissue fluid or out of the cell by osmosis. So basically, if the cell is short of water, the water will move into the cell by osmosis. And this is um, the, one of the main reasons and um, the, the best thing, one of the things we use for by osmosis. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. I, I know it's a short video and if you don't understand it, um, I suggest watching the diffusion video. Uh, but see you soon. Bye.